Hello, my name is Natalia and this is my Chromatic Nature YouTube channel where I show you how I use natural dyes to dye clothing. So I wasn't planning on doing a video about carrot tops anytime soon, but it just so happened that my in-laws had a little vegetable patch that they're harvesting right now and they had a little bunch of carrots growing there. So when they harvested them, I was like, don't throw away the carrot tops. I've heard you can dye with them so I took them. I haven't found much info online about dyeing cotton with carrot tops. I've only seen videos of people dyeing wool yarn with carrot tops, so I don't have great expectations going into this. I'm not dyeing any clothes today. I'm just gonna dye some fabric test strips, but I'm going to try out three different mordanting techniques to see if any of them work. So let's get to it. Here's my four fabric strips that I'm going to be dyeing and here's the plan. One of the strips I'm going to mordant in my most usual way with aluminum acetate and a chalk afterbath. I'm using 10% weight of fiber of aluminum acetate and soaking it for an hour and then soaking it in the calcium carbonate or chalk solution at 5% weight of fiber for an additional 30 minutes. Uh, one I'm going to mordant with a loom, soda ash, and vinegar. This mordanting technique requires that you keep the fibers and all those other three ingredients at a temperature of about 195 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour and a half. So this is a bit harder of a technique, but this is a good way to mordant cellulose fibers if you do not have aluminum acetate. And one I'm gonna mordant by soaking it in a soda ash solution at 10% of the weight of fiber. And then the last strip I'm not gonna mordant or prep in any way, so that will be our control in this here experiment. Now it's finally time to deal with the carrot tops. First I'm gonna rinse them off. I filled up my 6 quart stainless steel pot about three quarters full of water and I'm sticking the carrot tops in there while the water is just lukewarm so that they can heat up gradually. I'm going to heat this up to the temperature of 185 Fahrenheit and keep it at that temperature for an hour. And I really should try to not let it get any hotter than that and not let it go for any longer than that because I did read in a natural dyeing blog that if you let them cook too long or at a temperature that's too high, they're gonna give off more of a brown color instead of a yellow. Okay, it has reached 185 and now for the next hour I need to keep it at that temperature. I'm reducing the heat to low and I'm gonna cover most of the top with the lid, but leave it a little bit open still. It's been 35 minutes now. I have been checking on the temperature every few minutes, obsessively, so the temperature is still where it should be. The carrot tops are turning yellowish, the green is kind of leaving them. Um, I'm seeing some color in the water, not like a ton of color in the water. Eh, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but let's keep going. It's been an hour now, the amount of color in the water is not impressing me, but it's time to take this off the heat so that I don't overcook it. I'm dyeing each strip in a separate container so there's no cross-contamination with the mordants and this is a truer and cleaner experiment. So right away, uh, it's weird how different the liquid in the different jars looks. Cause it is the same liquid from the same dye pot, there's, it should not be different concentration of it in the different jars. Uh, so that's interesting. I let these sit overnight and now it's the next day and it's time to take the strips out of the dye baths. Um, wow. The strips that were mordanted with a loom and aluminum acetate are bright, rich yellow. I was not expecting that. I let these cure for quite a while because I actually went camping for a night so they've been drying and sitting here for like 48 hours. 
Now it's time to soak the strips in dye fixative. You're only supposed to use one ounce per pound of fabric. So I'm only using like less than half a tablespoon for each. Normally before I soak dyed things in dye fixative, I would rinse them. But I'm skipping that step here because the dye didn't really have a lot of substance to it. So there's no little fibers to rinse off of them really. Okay, I just wanted to real quick talk about what's happening in these jars right now. The strips that were treated with aluminum acetate and alum are barely giving off any color, like the water looks pretty clear. But this strip that was not treated with any mordant, it didn't even look like it had absorbed any color, but it's releasing a ton of color into the water while it's being soaked with dye fixative. like. I guess this is where all the dye went. It's like it filtered it out of its jar when it was getting soaked in the dye bath, but you couldn't see it on it. All right, moving on to finish this process, I'm throwing the strips into the washer and washing them with professional textile detergent, and then I dry them. The whole dyeing process is finished now, and I am shocked. Shocked, I tell you. This strip that wasn't mordanted in any way, it did change in color, but it's not a great color it changed into. Uh, I would call this color dingy. The strip that I treated with soda ash is a darker shade of dingy. However, both the strips, the one that I treated with aluminum acetate and alum, are beautiful beautiful yellow that did not get dull when it dried or after washing. Um, the color doesn't look super even on them, but I think that has to do with how I mordanted them, not so much the dye itself. But I am not celebrating quite yet. I am going to run a sunlight exposure test to see if these bright yellow colors I got are gonna last or if they're gonna burn out really easily in the sun. I'm going to expose them to direct sunlight for a controlled amount of time and then we'll look and see how much they changed. All right, the strips on the right have been exposed to direct sunlight for eight total hours now and um, I'm pretty happy with the results. The color did get lighter but it didn't change that much, especially not the one treated with aluminum acetate. I'm really impressed. Seriously, I did not think this was going to work. And it worked extremely well. Like, this is such a nice yellow color. I did not think I was going to get this on cotton with carrot tops. I thought it would be like the best very pale. This video really turned out to be about the importance of using mordants. Because without mordants, this carrot top dye isn't gonna get you anything really and with mordants it'll get you the brightest yellow you've ever seen so it did fade after being in the sun for a while this is the piece that was out in the sun this is this part was like folded under and this is the part that was exposed so you can see it, it yeah it fades in the sun but this is after 16 hours of direct sunlight and even store-bought garments are going to change color in that time. I'm actually pretty impressed with how much of the color it still held on to. If you don't look at this so much, it's still like a nice yellow. I know some time ago I mentioned that I was going to do um, a video about dyeing with Osage Orange. The reason that video isn't up yet is because I keep having problems with it. First time I dyed with it, I got like a mustard color, which is not what I was going for. Second time I dyed with it, I burnt them by letting the garments that I dyed cure outside. Even though it wasn't sunny, the sun totally discolored it. And even though the color from Osage Orange looks really nice and bright yellow when it's just coming out of the dye bath, when it dries, it becomes much duller. At least that's what it's been doing to me. This is the brightest I've gotten with Osage Orange. And then this is what I got with the carrots, carrot tops. 
So I'm still trying to perfect my dyeing with Osage Orange. Maybe I will get a better color with it. But it's freaking carrot tops. Apparently, I should have been dying with carrot tops this whole time. So there you go. If you find yourself some carrot tops and you have aluminum acetate and a cotton t-shirt, hey, you can have a bright yellow cotton t-shirt. So go on, do your own experiments, and come back here and watch my next video. What is it going to be about? I don't know. Maybe cabbage. Maybe not. It's up to the universe. I'll see you. When I was camping, an owl flew into our camp area, and I got it on video. So, here's an owl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh!